we invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. We have been giant bluefin tuna fishing with Captain Troy Bruce of Bruce Brothers Charters, Prince Edward Island, Canada, for many years, and this year we had a very special fish. This trip is very special to us and we use it to hone our stand-up fighting techniques. Steve Palmer was on the rod and we certainly learned a lot. Steve is in complete denial that I have found the very best pair of gloves. Before we go into that, you need to understand that we use our hands to add additional drag pressure at critical moments in the fight. You can shorten the fight significantly. This is better for the fish, especially because nearly all bluefin tuna are leased in pay, and better for the angler. We have yet to find any retail fishing gloves that are suitable for giant tuna fishing. The reason is very simple, all of them include synthetic materials on the palms and the fingers. When you have these gloves on the 200 feet mono top shot and the line is getting ripped out, the heat is enough to melt the synthetics and also damage the line. For this trip, he had some new all leather gloves, but they simply did not fit tight enough. It worked relatively well for adding drag, but took a toll on this hands. Energy conservation while fighting giant bluefin tuna. Steve has fought countless giant bluefin tuna on stand-up in Prince Edward Island including fish over 1,000 pounds and never needed more than an hour. Energy conservation while fighting giant bluefin tuna. Steve has fought countless giant bluefin tuna on stand-up in Prince Edward Island including fish over 1,000 pounds and never needed more than a mile. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Holy shit! There are two phases to a giant fight. The first phase is when the fish is still and runs away from the boat. This is usually half the fight. During this phase, the angler focuses on saving energy and letting the boat do most of the work. Oh my god. Fuck. I'm spun for a week now. That's the damn <laughs> The angler now needs to step up and gain line whenever possible. Additionally, it is critical to minimize how much line the fish takes back. This is when the gloves and proper technique are critical. Steve had been trying to get the fish into phase 2 for at least 15 minutes and was nearly spent when the fish finally entered phase 2. The video below tells that story. There are moments in the video where Steve uses the fighting chair for stability by leaning up against it. He also reaches back and grabs the chair with one hand while applying maximum pressure with the other hand. The sound that a 130 size reel spooled with 200 pound Dacron makes when a giant bluefin tuna takes the bait only feet from the transom is almost impossible to describe.
Non, che trovo siamo a dare. Passo fino a noi. Una barba a zona, è schifo. Dare. Legna in gruppo, cazzo. Ja. Ja. Maar kom op. Tu vois alors les sensations du nom un peu là. Ah la caméra. C'est magique hein Grand moment, grand moment de pêche. C'est juste la tronche. En bas, il est. Il y a des, de la transpiration dans les yeux. Thank you. 